Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday, August 30th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 30. The Three Notes. The humility, love, and joy which mark the lives of tertiaries are all God-given graces. They can never be obtained by human effort. They are gifts of the Holy Spirit. The purpose of Christ is to work miracles through people who are willing to be emptied of self and to surrender to Him. We then become channels of grace, through whom His mighty work is done. Lord Jesus, in your servant Francis, you displayed the wonderful power of the cross. Help us always to follow you in the way of the cross, and give us strength to resist all temptation. To you, Lord, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, be all glory forever. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is our light and our life. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed, or the psalms actually, appointed for this morning are Psalms 16 and 17. Protect me, O God, for I have taken refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fail. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart. Summon me by night. Melt me down. You will find no impurity in me. I give no offense with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your law. In your paths my feet shall not stumble. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness, O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand, from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings, from the wicked who assault me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed their heart to pity, and their mouth speaks proud things. They press me hard, now they surround me, watching how they may cast me to the ground. Like a lion, greedy for its prey. Like a young lion, lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront them and bring them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand from those whose portion in this life is this world. 
those bellies, whose bellies you fill with your treasure, who are well supplied with children and leave their wealth to their little ones. But at my vindication I shall see your face. When I awake, I shall be satisfied, beholding your likeness. God of truth and justice, watch over your people in adversity, that we may know the wonders of your love and see the glory of your presence. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive, for as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some in the crowd said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is the Messiah. But others asked, Surely the Messiah does not come from Galilee, does he? Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So there was division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. Then the temple police went back to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, Why did you not arrest him? The police answered, Never has anyone spoken like this. Then the Pharisees replied, Surely you have not been deceived too, have you? Has any one of the authorities or the, of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, they are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus before, and who was one of them, asked, Our law does not judge people without first giving them a hearing to find out what they are doing, does it? They replied, Surely you are not also from Galilee, are you? Search and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. The Gospel of Christ Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we stand, sit or kneel in God's presence, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the church throughout the world, for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the Province of the Northern Lights, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. And we pray for our leaders, for Bishop Rachel, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Archbishop Chris, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. For the whole people of God, that each one may be a true and faithful servant of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for those who are discerning their calls to ministry, be those calls to ordain ministry or calls to lay ministry. We also pray for those people who are doing their best to deepen their relationship with God, to further understand His will for them, and then to follow his will. And we also pray for those who are struggling to hear God's voice in their lives, 
for those whose lives are filled with doubt and fear. We will pray with them, walk alongside them, and help them hear God's word. For those drawing near to the light of faith, that the Lord will bring them to true knowledge of himself. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our families and friends, and at this time, as we move towards the end of the summer, move into September and back to the more familiar routines that the fall brings, that the Lord will give them joy and satisfaction in all they do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are lonely, sick, hungry, persecuted, or ignored. Praying for those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. We pray also for those who this day will feel the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, or homelessness, that the Lord will comfort and sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for our Governor General, our Prime Minister and members of Parliament, our Premier and members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council, that the Lord will help us to contribute to its true growth and well-being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the whole human family, remembering those places where there is warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters, most especially praying for the people of Yemen, Israel, Palestine, Russia, and Ukraine, that we may live together in justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In our prayers for the Third Order this morning, we pray for the entirety of the Society of St. Francis. We pray for the Ministers General of the First Orders and the Abbess of the Second Order. We pray for the Ministers Provincial of the First Orders. We pray for all of the members of the Third Order of St. Francis that have moved into God's dear presence. And we also pray for all companions of the Society. Further, we pray for world peace, the healing of our planet, and of all God's creation. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis, and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we are taught by your word that all our doings without love are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtue. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen. <laughs>